as I am covering the OSJ in this video runs between inject and value map. So at the rate, why are use case? So what is a bundle? The difference between jar and bundle, which are, and what is the purpose of component and what is the purpose of service? You can come on to a video call and uh, you guys can start uh, asking me interview questions. I'll try to explain. Can we, have, but I wanted to people have interaction based uh, knowledge sharing session, which will have impressions on them. Hey, hi, um, good afternoon. Um, uh, welcome to ITV, everyone. I hope everyone has, uh, is having a very good uh, weekend. So I would like to discuss about uh, interview questions and answers uh, as I actually promised uh, in my previous uh, videos. Um, this video, I'll be going through OSJ concept as uh, interview questions and answers that can be asked on the OSJ. And uh, before that, I would like to take the comments uh, which I have received on the previous interview questions and answers so that uh, I can discuss them first and then I'll uh, start with OSJ. Thereby, uh, we will actually, it's not like we are leaving the audience in the middle when they have some confusion and then going to the next video. No, we would take the answers and then uh, we would actually uh, go to the next video and then uh, <coughs> solve the uh, questions and answers. Okay, so the previous uh, video which uh, we had was about the sling model interview questions and answers. And uh, if we go to the comments section, so these are all the different comments which I have uh, received. So the first comment was, uh, uh, sir, can you make video on OSGI, uh, like the purpose of OSGI and uh, why we use it? And that's what he wanted to have. So I informed him uh, tomorrow I'll do the OSJ. So that's okay. As I am covering the OSJ in this video, um, that is taken care. So in the previous video, uh, Rahul is asking, uh, what is the difference between inject and value map? And also difference between adaptables, like resource adaptable and sling HTTP request adaptable. And also he is asking, what is the use case of at the rate via annotation? Okay. So first I'll cover difference between at the rate inject and value map so value map is for key value pair storage in the java basically from the front end side to the java side front end meaning html side to the java side if we are passing the parameters through request object request parameters then we go ahead with value map that's where we use at the rate value map and then fetch the request parameters inside the sling model but at the rate inject is actually to fetch from the JCR towards the AEM HTML. Basically, if we use at the rate inject and mention the private property type of the, uh, the dialogue item which you wanted to inject in the sling model, that will be the one which will be injecting. So basically, both are for different purposes. One is from the front end towards the back end, and the one is from the back end towards the front end. And I can also show you a little bit code on um, how the at the rate value map uh, value and at the rate inject are being used uh, uh, in um, AEM. Uh, showcase the code uh, snippets of uh, at the rate uh, value map and at the rate uh, inject usages in uh, sling model and uh, explain it in very detailed and um, elaborative manner okay so that's what i've just asked uh, chat gpt and uh, you can see um, how it is actually showing up the details uh, in uh, at the rate inject and at the rate value map. so if you see here okay even though the adaptable is resource dot class okay at the rate value map annotation is to inject the properties uh, like value map value name equals to description okay you are injecting description is the value into desc <clears throat> in case of inject it has to be same but in case of value map value it doesn't need to be same you can mention the name as description okay huh. so basically to inject the entire value map so representing the entire resource key value properties okay and in case of inject we can inject he, here he is giving explanation about uh, service injection. We can inject properties also. So I'll ask him, um, give 
give me the code of uh, at the rate inject for injecting the dialog properties so he, then you can see that uh, at the rate inject uh, is uh, actually used for injecting the dialog property also okay so if you see here he has a uh, both resource and servlet request and uh, here he is injecting a resource through script variable and also here injecting um, uh, dialog property. So here he is mentioning property from the AEM dialog. So independent properties you are getting from the dialog property. But if you use value map, we'll get the whole value map, uh, entire resource value map. So what do you mean by entire resource value map? If you go to CRXD, if you go to the node, you will see the key value properties, right? All of that will come from the value map value. And that's what actually you can fetch one of the value from the value map value by mentioning the name. So by comparing both of that, you can easily identify that at the rate inject is very easy if you have the property name available. Okay. And also at the rate value map value is actually very useful if you want to fetch whole uh, resource properties data like JCR title or created date, updated date, all of that also you can fetch. So that will cover the at the rate and the inject at the rate value map and also difference between adaptables. Okay. Some more explanation, yeah. So I, I, I can, as I have already explained, I will show you here also um, how it is actually explaining the difference between sling HTTP request and uh, resource.class. So if you see, what is the main difference between sling HTTP request uh, adaptability versus uh, um, resource adaptability? So the main uh, request adaptability is basically you can see that, um, right? Yeah. Huh. So you can see here, right? Sling HTTP servlet request adaptability is primarily used to represent the HTTP request being processed by the AEM server. So where would the request come to the server from the front end? Okay, so to represent the front end data towards the AEM server, then we will go ahead with Sling HTTP servlet request. Okay, and then um, basically, what is the use cases? You will use request parameters, request headers, other request specific data for fetching that. We will use Sling HTTP request, and resource is basically node, and then it is used to get the pages, components, assets. So basically, as I explained, the same. It is uh, they are mentioning the same thing.